Gary Green has had a good idea. The scourge of foxes in the Essex area, he has an irresistible lure for a vamping vixen or a territorial dog. It's a stuffed fox. The farmer here has spotted a fox locally that is taking too close an interest in his ducks. Gary reckons there's more than one. He has turned up here before sunrise to put his fox in the field next to the bait and caller. Hinting broods of uh, ducks here. Two years on the trot, I'll try to get on top of the foxes a bit so they'll survive, but both times they've literally wiped them all out, killed the lot, all by one or two again this time, I think. It certainly attracts a fox, but Gary has made a tactical error. He was expecting Charlie to turn up later, in daylight. The cameras might have night vision, but Gary can't see it. That, that fox came out of the garden in the dark and was picking up with a night vision monocular. So, let's just hope that he's not done the deed again. It's too many, too close. And as I say, I'm just trying to adjust the balance of it a little bit because the poor old ducks there, they just uh, they don't even get their feet wet for long, they're, they're gone, they're just mopping them up over there. The only thing now is to wait and to hope it comes back to the bait. Just want him back now, now I can see it to shoot safely. As dawn breaks, the rabbits treat the fox warily. A fallow deer is less impressed and there is no sign of that fox returning, or its friends. Then a muntjac comes out into the sun. The farmer is happy for Gary to have as many of those as he likes. <coughs> Down it goes. Gary may be a man of few words, but he is delighted. It's a big backpack. After he collects it, he can have a closer look. You're right old battler, I reckon. The tusks are all snapped off. He's split right down the middle. But his view on the whole day? Disappointing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Gary, you've got a deer in the chiller. Get over it. <laughs> 